Let's do Hogwatch CPAC edition. Hell yeah. With Austin Show. A lot of people are saying we don't like LGBTQ, but you're here. Find me a quote from a conservative saying we hate LGBTQ. I haven't heard that myself. <laughs> I've heard nothing. It's That's crazy. Wait, what? Is she memeing? What's happening there? What? It's like a very prominent part of their platform. Like, is she all right? 90% of the Republican commentary in the last midterms was about how trans people are freaks that need to be put down and that drag queens specifically are also like diddling children. What the f is this person saying right now? Listen to this. We're here. Find me a quote from a conservative saying we hate LGBTQ. I haven't heard that myself. <laughs> I've heard nothing. It's thank you. This is my fourth year at CPAC. So people sort of say it's not CPAC without Lady Maga. So I just oh, every like 30 seconds I have people who follow LGBTQ me. LGBTQ people. CPAC speaker calls for eradication of transgenderism and somehow claims he's not calling for the elimination of transgender people. Drag itself is not explicit. Is, it's not explicitly vulgar or sexual. For me, it's just theatrical. I get to embody a totally different persona, work on the costume, bedazzle things. You know, my face is a, a palette that yeah. I get to paint this on. So it's, it's art for me. So and I want to reclaim. It's just funny because, like, obviously drag queens aren't mentally ill, except this drag queen is because she got that conservative dog in her. You know what I mean? Like, you have to be literally mentally insane to think that you can say the correct things about drag, which, you know, he's right on or she's right on in persona, mm -hmm. but also simultaneously act like conservatives recognize those things. Like, you're crazy. Why do they feel compelled to even have to defend that narrative if not for the Republican Party? Like, do you see the irony here? Like, she's she's literally sitting in a convention of people that that that, that, that like that make that, that claim. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, but but while also simultaneously claiming that they don't do that, conservatives yes, exactly. don't. Do Which that. is so. But the whole re but it it's so backwards it's like the whole reason that she has to make that claim is because her own party is the one that made that claim i don't think i don't know if this person is trans by the way i think they're a lot of drag queens i mean drag queens can be trans but a lot of drag queens are just uh cis gay men is it is it appropriate i always lead with they well, i i just if, go if, with whatever uh, like i go with she doubt, when I talking go, about drag uh if they're a drag queen if they're drag king i say he if i have any doubt i go they like when i see a dog or an animal of some sort. You're so woke. No, I'm serious. I can't believe you just compared. No. That's f***ed up. Did you guys see that? Comparing trans people to animals? No. Oh, wow. Come on, Hassan. That's not what I mean. Wow. No, and first of all, it's not only trans people that use they, them pronouns, okay? Wow. Wait, who, you, like, a group of people use they, them pronouns as well? No, what about non-binary people? Non-binary people are trans. Oh. Yeah. I knew that. I was just quizzing you. Oh, okay. Good job. Yeah. Okay. You get to keep your job. You just did NB erasure. It's not a big no, deal. Are you okay. Kidding okay. Me? No, you shouldn't no, have just, LGBTQ. Uh, We're not anti-LGBTQ. The media makes up this whole narrative. We just don't want you, you know, being in this identity, like in public in the where there could library. be where there could be kids around. Well, I've been in public a lot of times at rallies and things in Utah. With like and there's um, kids there and stuff. With with people of all ages. Dress like I don't the, approach and... them. I don't try to indoctrinate their children. And if people do want to take a picture with me, I always say, "Okay, mom and dad in the middle." Okay. I always keep a very professional distance. But okay. um, I would never go into a library. That's crazy. She just doesn't under, she doesn't get it. And it's so f awesome. This is peak conservatism, okay? Not getting it while you are the it <laughs> is like the most conservative sh I've ever done seen, okay? I do not understand how you can live your life being the thing and, and have all of this lived experience and not understand and all of the people <laughs> around you straight up being like, no, 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 you're wrong. No, like you are. Th they literally think they're talking about other drag queens. Or a public school. Thank you for that. No, thank you. No, absolutely. We just don't want, yeah, like absolutely. stay out of the library, stay out of the schools. Who's doing drag in a Public stay school. out of children's yeah, honorary mention every black republican is also i mean that's a another great example of people being like black republican speakers of cpac being like guys i'm here to tell you like 
no one around me is racist and people in the crowd are like no we're racist like nope see not a single one no we are racist actually <laughs> we only like you because you're one of the good ones the rest are bad we're saying that i do not hear a single racist word uttered in this room in these hallowed halls and you understand way, no offense who the f wants to take their kids to a drag show anyway i think this isn't like who the f <laughs> wants it, it, let to me take tell you let me tell you portland <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe Portland. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> maybe That's Portland, one, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, dead. Oregon. Liberal parents with with uh, it, it, children named yeah. Sock. <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's who wants to take the. That's a very Portland thing to do for sure. Yeah, kids named Sock. <laughs> but it's like, but it, even then, it's not like um, it, it's not like a weird sexual deviant thing at all. It's like I read it in the same exact way that I read like Mrs. Doubtfire or every Disney movie. You know what I mean? Every Disney movie, the Disney villain. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very, very stupid that uh for people to like reframe this as like something that is like indecent it's not it, it, i don't give a sh we um we're actually looking for people that have a personal story about uh the migrant crisis like how has it personally uh -huh. affected you has anything happened in your life no i i, I couldn't say um yeah i could say that i used to be in a trade that was it's completely taken over by Hispanics now not that that's necessarily a bad thing damn why is that not a bad thing seems like you have a issue with it what's up uh, what's know, on? I, uh, flooring okay mm -hmm. so like those subcontractor work exactly is, mm -hmm. and, all right and if you it, want to be a foreman in a big flooring shop you need bro say Hispanic with so much energy he might as well have shortened it to the word you know what uh, I mean like <laughs> Hispanics have taken over my industry, my trade. Listen, La Raza, they call it. Maybe, They're doing salsa hips at lunch break. Everyone's eating tacos. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to eat spam. <laughs> Immigration is destroying this country. Yeah, we're looking for uh, people oh, that have geez. stories. Break. Immigration, like how has Pos the migrant positive. crisis personally? This dude is literally like 20... 22 years old okay when you see a, a young republican like this at one of these conferences know that immediately that's a nazi almost the entirety of the party that's why ronda santis was like popping with like younger demographics in the republican primaries it was like very strange mm -hmm. very strange phenomenon they're like why the f are people voting for ronda santis it's because like all the nazis were mm -hmm. claiming that he was going to do like nazi mm -hmm. this they guy's are totally on grinder too. every every one of these like Every one of these, like, under the age of 65, for, under the age of 40, let's say, uh, young Republicans is all mother groiped up shouties. They affected you. Well, in my community, the people that work at these restaurants and establishments, they do not speak the language and they do not assimilate. They are here for a job. They are not here to be Americans. How? Hold on, but th there's no national language. Also, no, not only that, but also like, dog, he asked, how does that actually affect your life? And you did not describe how this has affected your life at all. The language? Yeah. What do you mean? There's no language. There's no what language, you f dipsh**. No, and it's also dumb as hell. It, it, this is like a completely <laughs> made up thing, okay? Uh, coming to our country and making a... It's like, dude, um, your dad Your dad is like a real estate mega developer, okay? You're, you've are you never seen the, the back of a kitchen. <laughs> Shut the f*** up, okay? He's making it seem like he's going to Applebee's and the waiter, the, the waiter is like, oh, well, I don't speak any English whatsoever. The only place where what he's saying would be correct is Miami. Is Miami. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. And it's like, yeah, that's Miami, dog. That's what it is. And even then, why didn't you get your ass and take Spanish classes, you stupid? Oh, don't tell them that. <laughs> Telling an American to learn a second language, you might as well shoot them. You might as well take them out back and put try one in the to, back of their dome. Maybe, maybe it's a good lesson. You should try to learn how to speak. I, I had a forty-five minute conversation in Spanish with a Cuban Uber driver in Miami the last weekend. Oh God! I mean, I was wasted, but I mean, he we we had a great conversation. Really? Yeah. We, we he was. I I mean, we were. It was broken. It was 45 minutes, but we were just, we were chatting away. He, he told me he, he married. Actually, I don't, honestly, I don't know too, uh, I couldn't understand a lot of what he was saying, but I was trying. And we had, uh, he, he had moved here from Cuba with his wife that he had been married to for five years. They were separated for a brief period of time when he, then he moved here. No, no, I'm sorry. He met, this is where the translation was a little sloppy. He met her in the United States. They've been married for 30 years. He told me he liked boobs. Uh, that was, that was a good part of the conversation. 
Yeah, yeah. He said Teta. He went like this. <laughs> he went like this. Teta. It was pretty clear. Um, anyway, but yeah, learn another language. Been personally affected by the migrant crisis. A couple times a week, we have um, trucks coming through our neighborhood, and and they ring the doorbell, you know, soliciting. Our neighborhood is not supposed to have solicitors, but they they ring the what? doorbell, and then you know you see the big pickup truck with like eight people, eight men. In it. I'm so confused. What is what is she saying? They're ding dong ditching in my neighborhood. It's a Mexican ding dong ditch, though. <laughs> it's very different than when white kids do it. What the f is she talking about? Um, what are they soliciting know. for? I don't know. They sometimes they have a lawnmower. <laughs> sometimes they don't. Bro, she's like, I hate up and comers and small business owners when they're Mexican. <laughs> she thinks she's being gang stalked. Yeah, no, people probably literally landscapers looking for work. They're like, hey, your bushes look busted, lady. You want me to f whip it up? <laughs> God damn, I hope I wish f I'm pissed off my landscapers. I wish I had f other landscapers what? ding dong ditching. <laughs> Hire him in a you don't even have grass, Hassan. How could your landscape? What are they going to mow your turf? The, I have the no. I have the <laughs> the hedges. Is that it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so they just they want to work. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it's and it's. And this it's, makes you. How does this make you feel? Well, like I'm being invaded, which we are. When, like you're being. <laughs> well, <laughs> dude, greatest invasion of all time. Dudes who are who are trying to outcompete everyone else um. at 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 doing hard work, hard labor that your ass is not going to do yourself anyway. Damn, dude, what an invasion! That's crazy. Americans are so privileged that they think like an invasion equals not boots on the ground military warfare in the way that we did to Afghanistan. But when mother come to your house and they're like, hey, would you like most likely cheaper work? <laughs> That's insane to me, okay? It's my favorite thing is is like, there's the same narrative exists for white genocide, right? Like, obviously, there are very real genocides that have occurred throughout history, and that usually involves the systematic ethnic cleansing of a population, and not when people are consensually having sex with people of different races. That is not a genocide. That's just people having consensual sex with different races. That is called miscegenation and it's been perfectly legal in the United States of America. No, no matter how hard you want to f stop it. They come up to your house it's my and- my personal space. You they are, have a, yeah. They have, do they have a lawnmower or they have like a lawnmower? Right. Uh, no, like, like, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't have like to be the gardening. Big Walter does this really well. He does like, uh, uh -huh. he he'll go to like conservative hog stuff mm -hmm. and hog conventions, and then like just you know just ask them some questions. Yeah, but he won't and present himself as like also a hog a little bit. Yeah, and but... they reveal so much beautiful information. Yeah. Equipment, right? Sometimes, 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 and sometimes then they're, they're asking, roofers or whatever, and they want to work. Yeah, and they're well, like, no, but they mm -hmm. are they like kind of pushy about it. I wouldn't say pushy. <laughs> they're quite polite. I just yeah. hate that they're Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I love the, the honesty there, too. At the end of it, she's basically like, well, mm -hmm. you know, the only thing I really hate about it is that they're brown and Mexican, huh. I think. And that's what is really f***ed up. Lady, that's not an invasion. There's no polite invasion happening. You know what I mean? Fallujah was not polite. What I tell them is, you know, you're lucky that you came to my door rather than my neighbor's door, you know, because, you know, and you say, you know, he's ex secret service or he's a veteran and- Wait, what, what do you mean? What, they're my gonna neighbor him? would kill you? <laughs> yeah. Like what? The f yeah. Is it? Yeah. L listen, I'm racist, but my neighbor, he's so much more yeah, racist. Ex secret service, notorious for just killing people for no reason. I like that she's just like giving the game away while simultaneously just saying like, oh, my, my neighbors are way more racist than me. You know, he doesn't take, <laughs> the doorbell ringing lightly because what i'm really what? saying to them is you have disturbed what? my entire day dude this is by the way this is the mindset of just That's like so crazy no I mean, americans they, are americans, insane they complain they have, a, they have a fantasy of killing people yes that come to their door they, bro they complain about like how we are no longer a country like where's the sense of neighborhood and some all the time and it's then like they fantasy. talk about how they want to use a rocket launcher the first time the <laughs> doorbell rings it's like what's wrong with you what's wrong with you right 
um, and soliciting is illegal per our HOA and per uh -huh. keep in mind, on my window on, next yes. to my front door, I have a no soliciting sign. Okay. You know. She's gonna say, but it's not in Spanish, just yeah. trust. But again, they don't speak our language. Ah! So I told you, know. you told and I'm not you. Gonna put it in Spanish. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I know my hogs and hogalinas. I speak the language, okay? Dude. I speak fluent hog. Dude, 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 dude. Yep. Yep. What's one of the biggest issues you have as a voter going into the immigration? Election? Illegal immigration. Okay. Illegal immigration. Getting American job. Crystal mommies are so in right now at CPAC too. Like, look at this. That's a crystal mommy. Crystal mommy. Here's my read. Cold read. Crystal mommy uh, got converted during COVID. Lost her mind. Still is a crystal mommy, but definitely like super right wing. Major anti vaxxer And guess what? Americans will do anything for money. Take a, your usual Puerto Ricano. They'll do anything, darling. Just pay them in cash. Six bucks an hour. Do you have a personal story uh, about... Yes, I do. Shocking that Wait. she knows that Puerto Ricans are American. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. That's like... That's interesting. Still racist towards the Puerto Ricans, by yeah, the way. What the f She's yeah. like, yeah. They, <laughs> they don't work for anything, brother. Them, them Puerto Ricanos, they... <laughs> They do anything for six dollars, okay? <laughs> Which is insane. Also, this lady does have the Giga Chat jaw. She's about to be like, <laughs> she's about to fucking hit that. Mm, do you mewing. think she smokes cigarettes? She's mew maxing. And guess what? Americans will do anything for money. Take a, your usual Puerto Ricano. Do you have a personal story uh, about? Yes, I do. My daughter. She was by an illegal immigrant. She didn't even want to go to the police. I made her go. They did a sketch. <laughs> Oh, spoke only Spanish and rough workman's hands. Uh, yeah, right. How do we know that he was, like, uh, undocumented? Okay, because when I took her to the police, which you didn't want to go, the okay. policewoman yeah. said, definitely. Okay. And you know what she told me? The policewoman said, you go up and down the Rio Grande. There's bras and panties of girl. I was lucky to get her back, honestly. Lady, you are hallucinating. You think mass rapes are occurring up and down the Rio Grande Valley? Like, like, dude, dude, you think like the f men and women crossing the Rio Grande Valley, which in a treacherous trek that is like very deadly, are doing it to what? Go to the nearest f gas station to like steal a white woman only to bring them back to the f side of the Rio Grande Valley to do literally walk through the logical steps of this argument and it will immediately fall apart it, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah that's the reward for making it across the river it's like so <laughs> unimaginably racist but even if you were unimaginably racist like if you had just any f synapses firing up there you would have to just think this through for a moment just for a moment Probably a white flavor trade. How have you been personally affected? Oh my god, he's cosplaying as Donald Trump. Wait, I think he just looks like that. Wait, she thinks there's a white slaver <laughs> trade? Like, like Guatemalans are coming over the Rio Grande Valley to enslave white people? It's probably a white flavor trade. How have you been personally affected? He's got Donald hair and everything. I think he just looks like that, bro. <laughs> affected by the migrant crisis. Like, do you have a personal story? Unfortunately, maybe for your audience, Looks I like don't, like but I, I, I have. Uh, I love when they say unfortunately. It's like, bro, unfortunately, no, I have not been by a migrant. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to be a victim here. Uh, let me tell you, I really I wake up every day and I'm thinking maybe today a migrant will me. And uh, unfortunately, it has yet to happen. Daughter and a second daughter who are going to be living in Manhattan. And I dread, you know, something happening to them. I think that dude, what the f yo? The last thing is, that you got to be concerned about in Manhattan is a, a is, is, is a migrant mig migrant crime against them. What the f dude? These people think cities like these people genuinely only watch TV and think that like there are mass atrocities occurring dude, in the city. Dude, you're right next to the Canadian border. Not the even if oh, it's all bad, it's all. F Every part, every law, every corner of logic is flawed. 
They Every just they, they legitimately think that like cities are always like in the throes of crime. Like there's just people running around and you know shooting people in broad daylight or some. Sh which is ironic because, like, if you look at the crime statistics, like, rural areas unironically have a higher rate of gun violence and violent crime in general. That's the most hilarious lie that is always channeled in mainstream media. The notion that, like, cities, some of the wealthiest cities on the planet are actually infinitely less safe than the rural areas in red states. I don't, I genuinely don't understand how people can be this whipped up into a frenzy it's communism and they're even having law enforcement illegal aliens as law enforcement i mean you you can't cook up he's like fifth did you know 52 percent of customs border patrol is mexican <laughs> which is true by the way i mean it's not mexican but hispanic guys <laughs> guys they're calling it la magra <laughs> they're saying chinga la magra while they're actually mexican themselves <laughs> That's right. Law enforcement has been taking over. You heard about them Uvalde cops? Half of them are Mexican. Look up how insane this is, and yet there's talk, there's, talk, there's musing of a Gavin Newsom for president candidacy. Are you saying that there's police officers that are undocumented? Absolutely. freaking Lulu. Wait, no, wait, where is uh, this? In Cali, in California, where my youngest daughter is in... in uh, uh, his daughters are one hundo p not gonna be cooked like this no okay? no no you know he hates he's gonna his become daughters increasing, are so embarrassed yeah he's gonna be increasingly more his daughters are probably in here right now okay watching the hassan abu broadcast <laughs> going oh my god not dad oh that's so <laughs> embarrassing you know the more his daughters like want to live in manhattan and sh the less they call him and the more he thinks this is a fault of communism yeah this communism is what separated my daughters from me. Santa Clara. In certain areas, they have maybe not completely. Actually, you know what? I think I heard about this. Um, it's one of those things. So anyone from my audience, Google 40% uh, cops. And I think it's a, you see <laughs> like the statistics of how many of the police officers in L.A. are undocumented i, I think it's like 40 percent. i would say cops. don't google it because you're gonna get a false read the cartels they're smart <laughs> they operate they're, it's yeah yeah you are don't google it it's all fake oh yeah when you google 40 everything's fake except when you google, what trump tells us when you google 40 percent cops you find a very different reality trump has access to all the truthful that, information do you know what that meme is by the way you don't right yeah it's the 40 percent of all cops are abusers right yep domestic uh, abusers yeah. in a self-reported study mm -hmm. mind you Badly, the cheat goes because the illegals that are flowing in are being strategically brought in to potentially game the election. The migrant crisis, which is really like this dude's opinion, is a one to one with a Nazi, <laughs> by the way. But when you say that, people go, What do you mean? Like, how is that? Like, dude, he literally thinks that we are personally trafficking brown people into specific neighborhoods to make the neighborhood less white. Like, that is a psychotic, straight up white supremacist take. Many questions to be asked here. One, first of all, who's doing the directing? Secondly, what is the issue with a neighborhood being less white than it previously was? These are issues to investigate, really. Like, what do you, what do you mean? You, you, you got a problem with, like, there being less white people in a neighborhood? Why the f*** do you care? What the f***? He said racist Herman Munster. <laughs> a crisis by design of illegals being forcibly let in by the Biden cartel. You won't hear it from anyone but me. No other person except Charles Hurt has called it what it is. It's the great replacement theory. It's a great replacement theory, yeah. absolutely. And it's also is that an a, attempt is that a Nazi by Yeah. And he doesn't know what it is and then he just No, he's been he's been told about it from Tucker Carlson, so he thinks it's like probably permissible to say. And that's the issue. The the issue is like these guys don't even understand that like what they're saying is a one-to-one -to, -one to what nazis said he legitimately thinks this is a normal take because in his circles it probably is a normal take my population is this is the fall of rome it's like they've literally taken how rome fell and that's what they're implementing it's a, it's a great replacement there. he said wait rome fell because of migration what the f what is he talking about i don't even know what he i i do love this first of all if this saw what a roman looked like he'd be like them mexicans <laughs> wait a minute them mexicans were over there in rome too what the f <laughs> <laughs> why are they fighting the germanic tribes i feel like they're the ones they're the real whites
Theory. Exactly. Yeah. Because because now they've imp imported yeah. millions and millions of people who know how to live without running water, electricity, and grocery stores. So when they collapse the dollar and the grid goes down and everything else because they're trying to run electric cars after... Tucker Carlson just made the same point. There's a post about it on... Oh, Tucker Carlson recently said Rome fell because of unfettered migration. Is that what he's saying? Oh, here it is. Tucker Carlson recently claimed that the Roman Empire fell because the Roman military, its legions became... Dominated by non-citizens who, in the end, because they weren't loyal to Rome, turned it against Rome citizens. Bro, the Roman Empire is a f empire. This is the exact opposite. I'm losing my mind. Dude, what is a real Roman citizen, brother? What the f*** is this guy saying? Okay, first of all, whenever someone tells you, here's why the Roman Empire fell, understand that you're talking to someone who's just repeating something that they've heard. Because the Roman Empire fell for, like... 400 years mm -hmm. okay what the f are we talking about which roman empire is the first question are we talking about the byzantine empire which is official fall of the roman empire 1453 best year of my life or are we talking about not the byzantine empire and that's a separate one and regardless the notion that like the roman empire fell for one reason is always so imaginable unimaginably dumb you're talking about like a continuation of like what a thousand years like get the f out of here do you have a, a personal story about how the migrant crisis has affected you um not so much i'm retired now i mean again i'm i was a welder power plant stuff so i mean i was i've never had a okay. i mean in the in the construction industry they pretty much taken it over i will say and if you look at the birth rate or the population increase this is the highest increase in population we've ever had, and it is almost entirely due to immigration. It's been crazy. Well, yeah, really bad thing. Why are you saying that if, as if it's a bad thing, dog? Also, the irony of like being a young groiper like this is that you're never going to f You are literally permanently turning yourself into an unfuckable loser, so you're never going to replace the white birth rates either. You are contributing to the decline of white birth rates by being this... Groiper loser, dude. He's on grinder for sure. So, like, I have, you know, people, you know, people being jailed for their political beliefs. Yeah, or being debanked. Yeah, they, people yeah. are debanked. They're deplatformed. Yeah, I lose Kanye. their jobs. You, it, there are certain people in this country that if you take a picture with them and you post it, you will lose your job. He's talking My, about Nick uh, Fuentes. My uncle was jailed for his political beliefs. They took away his ice cream truck, confiscated his guns. You know, and now his wife can't visit him in jail because she's not 18. And this is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, the politicization, the politicization of the government is just a travesty. And these laws, it is all about selective enforcement. And it's like J6. There are laws on the book and they're like, OK, let's take it to the fullest extent. Let's let's really see what we can do. And on the flip side of the coin, it's like we have laws on the book, but oh, you know, we can't deport these poor immigrants. They're they're people just like us. Yeah, fam uh, they're, they're yeah, just yeah, no, no, totally famously. We don't deport any any immigrants. <laughs> yeah. We're always going. Oh, you know, they're just like us. We can't deport them. Wasn't Obama like the most deporter in chief? Yes. This is why it's like it's nutty to ever cave or concede or capitulate to the right wing fantasies. They literally live in a parallel universe where it's just completely made up I, i'm totally done with it but i will say i respect the democrats because they play to win we do not play to win we play to lose and then we throw our hands up and say oh, imagine if the roles were reversed rhinos wait, wait huh? hold on rhinos. yeah we need to kick all of them out no they don't Mac this is a real patriot, is real American patriot. Not a multiple. It's literally the opposite. It's the one thing they do wrong. No, is they don't play it, to win. The only way you think this, the only way you think this is if you're just like a straight up Nazi, I think. Because because they're not winning hard. They're not racist yeah, they're enough. Not, they're not. Yeah, you're like, because the Republican Party does actually give you everything you want. The f*** do you want? At least it's in the direction of the things you want. The Democratic Party only claims they care about the things that the the uh, voters actually want. Um, great guy. Great I met speaker. him too. Yeah. He is. People think you're a pedophile. I don't think you're a pedophile at all. I don't think he's a pedophile at all. The charges against him are totally false. They're totally false. Oh my God. Thank you. We love Matt Gates. Yeah, we do love Matt. 
That was such a banger oh, video. God. Yeah, it's very, very good, man. It's just everything there is a mess. Oh, it, this is my favorite bar. Every conservative that constantly talks about like child predation loves child beauty pageants. Oh God. And will defend it unconditionally. You know, with, you know my daughter does beauty pageants. Okay. Great. Um, fine. And but now they've gone woke as well. There was another fourth grader that came in, and they were wearing. A, well, it was another fourth grade girl came in and. Uh, she was wearing a, a rainbow bikini. Okay. All right. Making a statement, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, and it was... A fourth grader. A fourth grader. A rainbow bikini. Oh. Of all things. And I was because like... Because they don't care. Yeah. They don't care who they hurt, uh, who they sacrifice. Yeah. And it was... It was ridiculous. <laughs> and, it, you know, and they, people say, like, in her no, defense... No, my favorite like, part about it, it, it is, it is they, they don't care about the bikini. No, it's the fact that it's rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, that's, like, the most telling part about that's it is that... That's so funny. They never go, oh, a bikini? That's weird. Nope. Just the rainbow. Oh, one chatter says something that's really cool. That's, that's actually pretty good. Walter does watch. He's a Hasanabi head. Here's a trick. Here's another rhetorical good one for you. Walter, next time, talk about how wokeness has ruined child beauty pageants by saying that your daughter had uh, the stars and bars bikini, like the rebel flag bikini, oh. and how they wouldn't let her wear the rebel flag bikini, but they let but they let the rainbow bikini is go Walter through. Is Walter here? I don't know if he's in here right now, but he does. He does usually. I, I know he's a Hasanabe head, so this would probably get to him. That's a great one, dude. Good job, Chatters. I have literally lost debate rounds at state competitions because I'm white. I have been rallied against because I'm white. I'm a man. I'm a Christian. All of these things. I'm a Republican. Try telling a young person, especially a young woman, that you are conservative. It will be the end of the conversation. It'll be the end of dating. Yes, like yes. I mean, if you have enough charisma and you dress well. Called it, oh, baby. Oh, man. Holy sh Called it. Mm. There it is. There it is right there. Oh, I told the you. I told you. Oh, my God. It's so perfect. Like, I've lost debates because I'm a young white Christian is like, there you go. There, there, there you go, dude. So much of this resentment coming from one place, dude. Losing debates and not getting pussy. It's like a Reagan thing where Reagan was the one who, you know, killed you know, these state schools being free. My thought was reverse some of these Reagan era policies. If state schools are free, then every other, you know, every other school has to compete with that because there's this free option. If you think about it, Reagan really did lead us on this path. He implemented a lot of liberal social policies. And, and if you want to have like a conservative economic policy, you have to have a socially conservative society. Wait, no, wait, well, wait, what was, he, wait, no, wait, what are, liberal are policy like he hating start? Reagan now? Amnesty. I mean, no, he's a Nazi, bro. That's why oh. he doesn't like Reagan. Jesus. Reagan Christ. was also a Nazi, but it's pretty funny that he's like, he's like, yeah, I don't really like Ronald Reagan because see, he's saying no fault divorce. What's no fault divorce? In this country, you can just like divorce your partner without actually, um, you know, making like abuse claims and sh that's what he's upset about. Guy seems like a real joy. Yeah, he also talked about amnesty for migrants, which Ronald Reagan did do, which is something that he hates, I guess. No fault divorce. He was not very good on gun control and gun legislation. He was very free global trade, which hollowed out the interior of this country. And like I said, I'm from Kansas. Like the only jobs oh, out there shows. are manufacturing hard, like hard <laughs> labor. It's, well, it's like wait, wait, low, no fault divorce. From but Kansas, isn't that like no. after 60 days or I'm 90 just, days, you can get a no fault divorce? Well, no fault divorce means that you can literally divorce someone for no reason. And it, is, it essentially removes all of the merit and all of the meaning behind How else would you develop such a well-informed diverse global perspective i love this guy openly just like the the people complaining about no-fault divorce are so funny it's like no dude you that's insane like sorry, you're, you sorry sound like a that... psycho look sorry for those of you from kansas but i mean admittedly you guys made it you guys are the few that made it out he's mad that women are not hostages this is just as out of touch as like advocating to, to ban recreational sex. Like, no one is going to agree with you, dumb. You are so insane. Mind having a marriage. Once you are married, you're supposed to be inseparable. Your two flesh become one. Marriage is supposed to be for the purpose of procreation <laughs> oh, and for a family. What is the incentive to get married? It's no, it's no different than dating someone, but having a piece of paper to say that you're dating. No wonder nobody wants to date it because 
he tells this date when we when I get married, I see it as our flesh connected, and we can never separate. No, it's he's openly he's gonna, admitting he, it. He's, he's gonna he's, he, no, he's openly admitting it's a hostage situation. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, no button, no wonder. He's like, what's the incentive to getting married if, if it's the same as, like, if, if they're going to leave me? Like, that's what he's saying. They're teaching my daughter about consent at her school. Consent. Now. Consent. For what? A funny operation. What? If someone touches you, oh, you can't do that. I don't consent Jesus to that. Christ. Oh, Jesus. Get a life. Yeah, Back in the 60s, I'll tell you what, we steamed up the windows of some beer with some <laughs> heavy neck in my dear. I'm 72 years old. I can tell you all that I did consent. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, <laughs> it was my choice to consent. What? What the f Lady, <laughs> what the you f are a victim. You would literally benefit from consent education at an early age, it seems. This is why a lot of right-wingers like hate sex ed, because sex ed is where a lot of Kids learn that they are being predated on because like children don't know what consent is and what's right and what's wrong. But rarely ever do you hear someone go, yeah, you shouldn't teach children about consent because back in my day, I got by my gym teacher and I liked it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's insane to say. <laughs> How old do you think a girl should be before she learns about consent? 30. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty. That's it. Thirty. That's it. Oh my god. You know, but honestly, I wish I had been there because I would have popped that son of a bitch like a cockroach. Yeah. When did she learn about it? It's the guy that remember? No, she's saying she would beat up the teacher that's trying to teach consent to Wait. children at sex ed. I thought she was talking about the guy that because her daughter, remember what happened? No, to, that's uh, not what she's talking about. Okay, I'm she's losing talking. track. Yes, this is the same lady, you're right, that talked about how her daughter was uh, okay. by what she alleges is an undocumented Mexican. Could I have a little bit of that pita? No. Okay. No, I just, I don't, I don't. Just, Take just, it. just a little, just a little. Take it. No, Take just, it. It's so good. Here's some hummus, too. No. Oh, come on, you got, um, we got to dip it in the hummus. It's the bread of my people, or not the bread of my people, the, 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 it's so oh good. my God, hummus is Lebanese, baby. I mean, so look, she was look like learning about uh, look it on my this Wikipedia. Year. I was born in Beirut. She's 13 years old. Oh, see, I, I think that's wrong. My daughter, she, the school that she's at right now is trying to teach her consent. 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 Cons like, yeah, consent. Like sexual consent. Yeah. At, yeah. at what age? Uh, that's well, a, actually, yeah, I let me ask you. Let me ask you. Doesn't really even what's, matter. Yeah, what's a, what's an appropriate age to teach uh, a I mean, person that, about that, consent? That's a good. That's a good point. I don't think the school has any business teaching that. I actually, when I was in high school, I debated in favor of comprehensive sex ed, but now we fast forward about. Uh, Bro, this guy's entire life revolves around high school high school debate club. You know that's a mother destiny head, dude. One hundo p mother probably in here half the time i'm sorry this 100 never have i ever seen a dude so in the pocket started following after the chicken and waffles nick fuentes conversation and then was like well this guy actually really has a lot of good ideas six seven years later and comprehensive sex ed has turned from oh like you should wear a condom or or you should know birth control which i don't believe in those things but it's turned from that and a sort of social liberalism to teaching kids how to masturbate at, in sixth grade, you know, pardon my language, but these are the people doing it. These people are indoctrinating them into gender ide ideology, telling them to mutilate themselves. If a person says that they're suicidal, why would you give in to them? Mentally, ra <laughs> mentally <laughs> rational people? Yeah. When someone says they're suicidal, you're not supposed to medicate them. You're just supposed to say, no, you're not. And then even maybe put them near a ledge and go, ha, ah, see, go ahead. You can't do it, pussy. I don't believe you. That's what you're supposed to do when someone's suicidal. I am not a medical professional, but I know. <laughs> what do you mean you're not supposed to give in to them? Like, what take is this? Are you supposed to be like, oh, you, you encounter a suicidal person and you're supposed to what? Not give in to them as in and be like, no, you're not. <laughs> go ahead. Prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is this argument? He's... <laughs>
do not think about taking their own lives. So it makes no sense to give into an irrational person's demands like we have done with gender ideology. Oh my what God, do you think is an appropriate wait, age to teach? He's, he's unironically saying, like, if someone is suicidal, you're not supposed to, like, medicate them or offer them health care. Like, what? I've, I've never had sex Steve ed in elementary school. I'm an investigative reporter, and I have my own clothing line. Did you have sex ed, though? Yeah, in middle school and... Uh, no, Wait, really? not even middle school, high school. Wait, no, no, maybe I did have sex ed in, in grade school. I was a fifth grader, maybe. It's probably, like, very different than the I sex forget. ed that you I got in high school, I, though, I right? I forget what the fu I don't know. Well, it didn't work for me, clearly. They didn't fucking... They didn't teach me nothing about... Gay sex? Yeah, and gay sex. There's well, nothing to talk about. I wonder that. why. Yeah. This is literally the reason why. I had to learn it all on my own, folks. It's so funny. Believe me. They they tried they tried to make me straight. You know what's funny? That's like ninety percent of their grievances is like, oh, you can't teach sex ed because oh, you're trying to teach gay sex to children. And it's like dumb there are gay kids. Like it's about understanding your own sexuality. Um, Hassan, I need to go meet somebody for lunch real quick. What? Yeah, but I'm gonna come back. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Consent. Like, uh, you know, sexual consent. Like, if I touch you and you say, oh, I don't consent to you touching me. Well, I would say consent is a, is a good thing in the sense of you shouldn't judge people if they don't want to be touched. Well, what's a good age to teach a child that? Yes, well, I think what you bring up really goes back to this long march through the institutions that is really designed to at the crux of it, destroy the nuclear family, right? And the way they do that is by pushing these very, very, I would say, just, it's not even woke and weaponized, truly, I think, honestly, satanic. I think we're in a spiritual war, and I think they, they push these just very... It's wild that she had me in the first half. I was like, oh, finally. I was like, oh, finally, like, a conservative who's not utterly unhinged. Like, how can someone be normal for that, like, three-second barrier only to become the most insane person you've ever encountered? I genuinely don't get it. She was like, yeah, you're right. I think consent is great, and it should be taught, which is, you know, why I think that the pedophilic elite are working with Satan, who is gay, by the way, and f***ing that young rapper boy Lil Nas X that's right that's a real thing that happened I saw it on the television I've now applied that to the January 6ers because they obstructed an official proceeding of Congress so it's quite a stretch um, over 300 January 6ers were charged with that including President Trump was charged with 1512 c2 once that happens I think that's going to crumble a lot of the cases and some of the people that have had that as their most serious charge will now only have trespassing, remaining in an unrestricted building, and those types yeah, of things. And then, no, then all of those people will now uh, hopefully be free to walk the streets. That would be the, the hope. And uh, it, it, it really comes down oh. to our Department of Justice, you know, really starting to be the Department of Justice for all. But I thought we wanted to get rid of the Department of Justice. Well, I think that we need a lot of work in a lot of those organizations. So, so you're a reformer. Yeah. You're a reformer. Just for the January Sixers, make no mistake, if they're black, I think they should go to prison for longer. This makes the most sense, though. I mean, we've often talked about conservatism being like an incredibly selfish way to operate. Uh, do you think people will believe you if you did this? I have done this before. I can't do it anymore. I do unfortunately think I'm too hated by the right and someone would immediately clock me and tell other people that, who I am and the gig would be up. I have done it though in the past. Straight up. What is that? This is, um, is that Shungai? Um, I love Shungai, but this is Iron Pyrite. Oh, what is that dude? Does that block out the 5G waves? I got Shungai all over my uh, yeah. La Casa, my yeah. home. This is such an old meme. Many people don't even know what this meme is probably. You know? Me too. I have it on my phone. It does block out uh, 5G waves. You have it on your phone? Can I see? Uh, yeah. I have these. I have it all around the La Casa, you know. Tiny pyramids. People always mistake it. Whenever I talk about Shungite, they're always like, Shug Knight. And I'm like, no, that guy's <laughs> locked up in prison. You yeah. know? These are my, my Shug Knight. Wow. Guys. And it says self-love on it. I'm so glad that her phone is blocking the 5G coronavirus waves. Entirely. I think reform is, is the first place. I mean, it comes from awareness. And one of the things that happened that, that we give credit to the January Sixers is we got an inside view of what the Department of Corrections is like and how people, you and I, if we fell into the Department of Corrections for any, any wrongdoing. You know, it's funny. You talk about the criminal justice system and <laughs> I, I feel kind of... 
Why is this on so good at rizzing up conservative women shaking my head? I'm just good at rizzing up women because I, <laughs> that's it. It doesn't matter if they're conservative. They're pu That's why I always say it's ridiculous when people are like, uh, you're just a feminist for a pussy. It's like, I do not need to be a mother feminist to get pussy dog. Okay. Don't delude yourself. It's one of those things where you cannot paraphrase it to make it better. It is far better in the original Latin. Yeah. That's why we got to play it. I got to do it to him. Is this guy seriously saying that I can't get laid? Incredible. I'll give you 5,000 if you can get Poontang before January 1st. Do you have any idea who the f you're talking to? When I got off tin when I got off Tinder because of the f quarantine, Tacoma wept. Even like ignoring the fact that I have a girlfriend, even if we're just talking like randos, I'm 2 hours away right now from being inside somebody else. This is one, I, I have two skills, and it's non-monogamy and speaking publicly, okay? <laughs> Do some f***ing research. Do some f***ing research. That is perfect. That's like a perfect clip. And I don't even mean this in a way where, like, I'm shitting on Vosh, Vosh at all. It's just such a good, perfect, beautiful moment. Trapped in time. It has everything. So you are, you are, Amer there's America first and there's Maui first. Yeah, I'm Maui first. <laughs> what are some issues that, uh, that they care about, that the Hawaiian voters care about? Well, a lot of the Hawaiians still want- That's a native Hawaiian right there. Yeehaw. Want to become a free kingdom. So they want to go back to the original Hawaiian kingdom. And that's an another dynamic that plays into it because we're li really, really living in a different culture there. So I like to be respectful as, as much as I can of their original culture uh and the fact that they would prefer to be outside of the United States. Wait, what? So yeah. there's a um, that. This is the most based conservative woman living in Hawaii of all time. She's like rocking a cowboy hat while saying like, you know, the Maui separatists got some good ideas. It's called decolonialization. <laughs> Dude, these are like Nick Mullen bits come to life at this point. I'm a based Hawaiian separatist <laughs> who believes in decolonialization. It's called land back. There's a hashtag on Twitter called land back <laughs> with regards to you know the indigenous population and that's a whole th how do you how do you feel about that we don't really talk about that as america first it, i don't know how to talk about that well we, that's why we have to put hawaiians first they deserve to be put first i mean it was their She's state awesome. you know it was their country it was their kingdom before we took it over so uh, we are occupying their state are they a kingdom? So they do deserve to be put first. They deserve rights, and they do deserve the, to keep their land and maintain their land instead of, uh, you know, having just the Westerners. She's not bugging. No, I know she's right. It's just her explaining it is is the bugging part. She is a white blonde lady living in Hawaii talking about the Hawaiian kingdom and land back. It's who is saying it that is making it very strange, given the context of it, of the person saying this being a CPAC attendee. Do you not understand what is like shocking about this conversation? I wonder what her thoughts on Palestine are. Yeah, she's about to be like, <laughs> like, listen, I got that red triangle I put on my Twitter. <laughs> I love watching them ham ass videos. <laughs> That's right. It's called land back. So the government is taking it from them. Wow. That's a hot take. I hear for, I, wow. I appreciate that. Thank it's, you. I mean, it's, it's the harsh truth though. I mean, you, this happened, you know, in the, in the late fifties, we could have, we could have prevented this. We already knew how bad this turns out when we took it from the Native Americans from all the, uh, you know, other states and put them on reservations. We've already gone through this story and then they just repeated it again. What is going on? I'm, I'm caught up. So, right. That was crazy. Wait. Oh, God. I wish Walter would have asked her more about like other opinions that she has because this is incredible. She literally said America was built on indigenous genocide. What? Right now, Taylor Swift, she's not our favorite person. Who are we going to use to target Gen Z to compete with Taylor Swift? Well, you're going to have to find probably some high profile person in pop culture, maybe someone like The Rock or Shaq. I don't think these guys are going to speak out, but I know that they're probably on the right side of the transom, both of those guys. Shaq is the most iconic guy on the planet right now. If there was some way that Shaq would come. Bro, this dude is stuck in like 2008. I swear to God, what the f 
What do you mean Shaq is the most iconic guy on the planet right now? Not even 2008, like 1999. Bro says Shaq is really going to bust it wide open for us for the Gen Z vote. I, I kicked Taylor Swift out of number one on iTunes. The amount of people that bought your music eclipsed Correct. Taylor Swift. And then, and then um, Billboard is the world um, calculation for buying that's so awesome. It, like, in her mind, she legitimately believes in her heart of hearts. Bless her heart, by the way. That she thinks she's, like, more famous than Taylor Swift. And I think that's cool. Like, let people enjoy things. Don't ruin the vibes for this person. So, Taylor Swift, she's either a Democratic PSYOP or a, you know, you know member of the CCP. <laughs> right, right, right. And she's being used to target, you know, Gen Z voters. Uh, who do we have on our side that's going to target the Gen Z vote? I mean, when it's when it comes to politicians, Vivek Ramaswamy has done a very good job. When we're mm. talking about political... Or oh, my Lord. I told you Vivek appeals to this guy and this guy alone. Yeah, he's done a, he's done such a good job. That's why he had to drop out after like never securing more than 5% of the vote. Or, or rather cultural figures. I would say people like the Nelk boys, you know, these kind of these kind of guys that are tired of being rallied against and in the cultural space, it really is only them. Yeah, dude, the Nelk boys are are really leading the pack, dude. Oh my god. I do wish for a time when conservatives weren't so invested in like degeneracy. I wish for a time, maybe it's because I'm old now, but I do wish that like we could go back to the days where conservatives would be like, no, you can't have a face tattoo. Like, are you a criminal? Do you believe in Satan? Because now it's the same people with the face tattoos that are like, yeah, do you believe in Satan and the pedophilic conspiracy? I love voting for tort reform. And it's like, what are you saying? This does not make sense aesthetically. Stop. Like you're talking about a group of dildos that throw like frat parties and shit. they're Canadian. It's the worst thing you can be. What is going on? So we know from hundreds of studies, women are just as likely to be abusers, domestic abusers as men are. What's the name of your organization? So it's the Coalition to End Domestic Violence. And uh, we men. have, we are focused both in the United States and internationally. Oh, okay. So you want to end domestic violence? That's that's where we started okay. on this on that's this journey. Okay, that's where you started. Yes. You want to end domestic violence? You want the inclusion of female abusers? How many of the abusers are you know the female, the woman in the it's, relationship? It's I think this is like this is the final version of being a divorced dad. I think like when you hit peak like peak divorce, you, you reach this conclusion where you're like, actually, my goal is to end domestic abuse only when women are doing it to men. <laughs> when men are doing it to women, it's, it's still somehow domestic abuse towards the man, actually. Basically 50-50. Uh, you may have heard just last week in Pennsylvania, there was a female judge who took out her gun and shot her ex-boyfriend in the head. Some studies have shown it's actually women have the edge in terms of numbers of instigating domestic violence. According to the Centers for Disease Control, women are more likely to be the perpetrators of psychological... Do we control. trust the CDC, though? I think in this area, I, I, I understand your concern and point. This is actually a well-developed... There you go, by the way. I called it, and he revealed it. He's saying that in all domestic abuse instances is the woman that is egging it on. Like, even if the man is the domestic abuser, women are responsible for it. That's literally what he's saying, and that's what his cause is. ...study that's, that's recognized as being... Uh, scientifically valid. We're trying to influence the policies and or what policies would you like to see? So, for example, let's start at the with the, the federal law. It's called the Violence Against Women Act. Obviously, that's a pretty biased law. This is like a men's rights organization. I would say it's not men's rights because if you care. About yep. Why is that question mark? He's correct. Women are more likely to be instigators. Nobody is saying that women are not responsible for domestic abuse. Of course women can do domestic abuse. The f*** is this dumbass question? In many instances, obviously, toxic masculinity plays a role in men shutting down in the way that they are received as victims of domestic violence. Uh, so it makes them less likely to go and talk about it. It makes them less likely to actually do something about it. But the idea 
the, what this guy is saying is that women are baiting the domestic abuse that they receive. They're instigating it, which is insane. What do you want them to see, help, get help, get counseling before the, the abuse flares up and turns into a, a judge shooting her ex-boyfriend in the head? It's not a men's rights organization. Not a men's rights organization. It's not a men's, you're not, a, you're not a, what they call like a MRA. A, you're not a men's rights activist. Yeah, no, we're not MRA. Not totally, that's, that's uh, not what this is at all. Uh, that was Walt Masterson uh, doing it again, doing the damn thing again, doing a great job. Love his videos. Pump his shit up. This is literally papers, please, but on steroids. I'm losing my mind. Look at this beautiful flag of my wonderful Ajaristan. Igor Akarov. Give you a kiss, Generali Secretar. Look at my trailer. I am living like Hollywood star. You look like a white man, like Tom Cruise. Are you hiding? Entry, reason, visit. Visit what? Visit prison. That's what you are visiting today, my friend. Why you bring cocaine into this beautiful country? You son of a bitch. Oh, more cocaine. Am I making big mistake? What are you going to do about it, huh? Get the f back in the car.